Japan Society presents a world premiere performance by the fascinating choreographer Jeremy Wade. The show, entitled There Is No End to More, explores consumerism and the sinister underbelly of the Japanese phenomenon of kawaii, or cute. We had a chance to sit down with two of Jeremy Wade's collaborators, writer Marcos Rosales and manga artist and illustrator Hiroki Otsuka, to get a behind the scenes look at the collaborative process. When I go back to Japan, I see a boy is more feminine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's the pop stars too. Yeah, yeah, but it's the straight guys that look more feminine. Yeah, straight the guys, guys look more masculine. That's right? really interesting. Interesting, right? Yeah. Yeah. The theme is kawaii. Kawaii means like a lovable, you know. Jeremy was really intrigued with was when it became so cute. So overly cute that it became sinister or disturbing too, and that's really that was what yeah. the draw was. My role is, um, I think, character development. I think I believe. So Jeremy wanted to ask me to characterize, you know, from his ideas, uh, and uh, he brings, he shows me some, you know, pictures, ideas, you know, make it like uh, weird creatures. Oh yeah, I am multi bear. Melty bear, it's like, like the bear is kind of melting, skin's melting. You call him melty bear? Yeah, he called melty bear. <laughs> <laughs> also, I got inspired from uh, Hiroshima, you know, bomb. You know, people are walking in melting skin, so like hanging. You know, that, that sadness we have in Japan. That kind of inspired me too. And then next things he told me, oh, can you, can you draw uh, toilet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so every day it changes, you know, cell phones and bicycle, you know. <laughs> well, sometimes it you know, takes me a few days to think about like the characters. There's many different voices in the piece. So, you know, um, some are schoolgirls. Some, like one of them is uh, this narrator that's very kind of pompous and is always speaking in this kind of dark, kind of psychological speak or very theoretical kind of thing. And then there's the characters, the animals, right? Mm -hmm. Different mm -hmm. things. Like a, a classroom of, of kids, basically. And um, what they would say about things like diversity or a government or the body. And I work with kids. Um, and I've been a teacher for years, so, you know, I sit in the classroom and I'd ask some questions here and there, and then I would sort of fill in. I mean, the interesting thing about kids is you start out with one topic, and it just kind of shoots off into a million other things. And I think that, you know, younger, 15 to 17, so you go through a lot of experiences, and you change your mind, and, you know, all the time. Because you grew up with your parents, so all belief system you by your parents or religions, you know. But uh, at the same time, you feel weird or you feel changes, you know. You want to find out who you are. That moment, you know, I think it's a beautiful moment. Because I, I was the director of a summer camp, and Hiroki worked there too. And, but the thing that the favorite thing that we had was um, Harajuku. Ha Harajuku picnic was yeah. our big <laughs> event. Yeah. So with the whole four weeks, you know, they spend all this time looking at Harajuku style and all this kawaii stuff. Mm -hmm. And then we have a picnic in Central Park and they all come dressed in their version of, of Harajuku style. And we had some really, like, really I mean, these fun kids, time. like, really worked, I mean, for weeks mm -hmm. putting these costumes together and stuff. And then we would have a fashion show. Do you remember the little boy? The little boys, like, <laughs> one little boy came. And, you know, like, here's all these, it was all girls and one boy, mm -hmm. and then the teachers. And they were all dressed, like, completely wild, you know, yeah. like, and we're all having a picnic out in Central Park. And then there's a karate camp. <laughs> oh, yeah. And finally one little boy comes out there, and he comes up to him, and he's like, who are you? <laughs> and he started doing, like, remember he yeah, was doing remember all that. this stuff, like, <laughs> and they were just, like, all the girls, of course, they're just all sitting there trying to look very, like, cool. Cool, and they have, like, writing all over yeah. them. And, like, and I said, we're Harajuku. <laughs> <laughs>
inspired by a、uh, Japanese girl, Harajuku girl. <laughs> <laughs> And, and what does she have on her feet? <laughs> oh, I saw that guy at the gym.、Uh, he was wearing the plastic bags. For the sneakers, right? <laughs> yeah, for the sneakers. <laughs> over his sneaker? Yeah,、that's、over his. Yeah, get wet. Yeah. I was like, that's interesting. And that, that <laughs> thing, s I was. That person, the girl was on the street wearing some <laughs> plastic things. So I just made a mix character. And now it's going to be the latest trend in the <laughs> 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 yeah. plastic bags on Fashion、YouTube. Week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>